Six Nations community back in Ontario, a very tight-knit group of boys. They're enjoying their time out here. Tell us about the trip uh, for lunch on the Monday afternoon up with the Squamish Nation. Yeah, we, uh, we went up there on Monday afternoon there and um, Donnie Mathias uh, gave me a call there uh, last week and asked if they can uh, invite us up for lunch there and uh, have a little feast for the boys there and um, it was uh, it, it's a good experience for these guys uh, North Shore always does this for uh, teams from back home when they when they come over and um, they're uh, they're very helpful that way they uh, they make some good food for the boys good good uh, good food for the soul there and um, the salmon it's good for the good for the brains and it makes the boys a little bit smarter for the game. Did they have any advice to offer the boys just about you know their time out here and what they have to focus on for their next step? Because realistically, going into the lunch on Monday that they had, they were basically down two games to none. So obviously, that was a big plus. Yeah, it, it was. Um, they, um, Donnie brought a brought a greeter there, Jeanette Baker, and she gave thanks for us, and um, she just said a quick prayer for us, and that seemed to lift the boys up a little bit, and um, you can tell the. You can tell the uh, attitude changed in a lot of the guys after we left that night and um, it just carried over to the games uh, three and four there on Tuesday and Wednesday night and hopefully it carries on tonight too. First Nations communities across Canada are so close-knit. Why is that? Um, it's just uh, we're all family. Like um, we see one we're just, it's just family. That's the only real way to explain it. Um, especially if, if somebody from out west is out east there, we try to do the same for them as well. Um, just like, just like uh, Don and North Shore did for us this week. And um, I'm sure they'll be doing that this week, this week coming up with the President's com Cup coming up, with a couple of uh, native teams coming in there. All about working together and just being one. Absolutely, that's what it is. And. Um, the boys, the boys love it when the drum, when they get the drummers out. It's, it, it definitely helps the boys out a bit. And when you talk about the drums, do the boys know a lot about the history of the the meaning of the drum? <coughs> a lot of the majority of them do. Yeah, we we do have some non-natives on the team as well, so they're they're kind of it's kind of their first foray into it, and they they soak in it. They're, they're soaking it in. They love it too. So, and as the more drums they get, the better it is for us, and it helps a lot. It seems that the better they play, the louder the drums get. Yeah, they 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 know how to play to the beat, beat to the, to the flow of the game there. And um, when we're on offense, you can you really feel the feel the thumps out there, and the boys the boys like that. And it, it I don't know if I don't think the other team likes it, but I know we love it. When you talk about the boys feeling so exposed to it and they just motivate themselves and get themselves going, what's it like from the coaching staff and a general manager staff? Like, does that put vibes just through your skin too? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm on the bench as well with the coaching staff there and um, it's being, being on the floor, being so close to the floor with that, it, it's, it's, it's a different experience. I've, I've been here to watch it a few times over the years and, and I've, I've experienced it in the stands, but... Um, being being a part of the game and part of the on the floor there it's 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 something different it's it's really uplifting and it it feels good when they do it well i'm glad you came out here and took the time to do this with us i really appreciate it all the best of luck to the uh, six nations group and and uh, again uh, special thanks to uh, squamish nation for doing that uh, luncheon yeah. for you absolutely it's uh we hope to see them out they're going to be out for the rest of the series and uh we're like i said it's one big family with us so Hopefully we pull it off for them and we gave them the salute last night after the game and we'll give them the salute tonight after a win tonight. Good man. Thanks a lot. Thank you.